Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we want to take a look and see what are your person's current feelings about you, about the situation um, that you're in, the connection that you share with each other. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look and see what the cards reveal in terms of their current emotions, feelings, and energies. And I just want to mention there's also going to be a part two to the reading. And in part two, we're going to explore the messages in a little bit more depth and detail. And part two is going to be made available to you via the extension link below, which I will have um, added just where the show more section is. Also, because this is a general reading, guys, if you're after a personal one, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just, um, just in that show more section as well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what are your person's, what are their current feelings, what are their current uh, emotions. Um, interestingly enough, you've got the sun, which has appeared three times in your reading, and the moon, which has appeared twice here in this spread. And um, I don't think this is a coincidence. I find that I find this to be very interesting. With regards to how your person feels about you, there is some there's some mixed emotions here. There's some mixed messages, and what's happening? I think due to the mixed emotions that they're feeling, they could also uh, be manifesting those mixed emotions as um, it might manifest as some very inconsistent behavior in their energies and they might be um, they might be coming across as someone who is hot and cold someone who is on and off someone who is um, that someone who warms up to you very quickly one time and then goes suddenly very cold distant um, and very emotionally aloof the next okay this is because this is the inconsistencies that we see in their behavior which is being fueled by the uncertainty in their emotions for the most part i do feel like your person is they feel very drawn to you okay because you do have the presence of the sun here this is someone who you have brought a lot of happiness and a lot of joy into this person's life um, they feel really good when they're around you. Uh, they feel really good about what the two of you possibly have and where things possibly could go. Like they already see a lot of promise and a lot of potential. Um, they see you as someone, like they see you as someone who has, you've been quite a joy, okay? And you're quite a presence in their life. This is someone who's noticed, even like their connecting energies, family and friends, notice a difference in their behavior since they've met you. Okay, this is someone who's, they seem to be smiling a lot more. They seem to be a little bit more sure of themselves. They seem a lot more confident. Um, whether they're aware of it or not, their friends and family are definitely picking up on this. So it, um, you know, you meet meeting them, them meeting you has had quite a positive influence and has had quite a positive effect on their energies by the same token i think your person um it, it's this this feeling that they feel i think this has been to me feels a little unexplored so is it because your person hasn't necessarily felt this way about a certain person before is it because your person you know some of these emotions and feelings that they feel whenever they're with you or that you've, you've inspired in their energy is very new is very foreign and is very unfamiliar and therefore i can see that there's this energy of i'm gonna call it doubt i'm gonna call it hesitation or even this reservation okay which makes sense because i think the fact that this person is I don't think they're intentionally on and off. I don't think they're intentionally hot and cold. I think it's just this person trying to figure out their emotions because I do think some of it is very new and foreign and also trying to figure out how um, 
just how safe of a space it is for them to open themselves up to you, if that makes sense. Uh, so from what I can see, this is something that has started off very quickly. Not that it's been rushed, but I think the connection or the feelings have grown very quickly between the two of you. And even if you just recently met, I think it's, you know, it started off very strong. Okay, they were instantly drawn, instantly connected to you. You've got the Six of Cups, which it does. Um, you know, there, there is a strong indication of this being a soulmate connection. So your person does feel very sh some very strong emotions towards you okay so they may feel very comfortable with you they may feel as though um, you're someone who just understands them like you know you just get them they feel as though it's almost like you have the same sense of humor it's like you guys speak the same language okay and if they were to open themselves up a little bit more, this would be the language of love. Like you guys just get each other. I think even before you guys spoke to one another, your eyes were doing a lot of the communicating, a lot of the talking. Okay, It's like you guys are, um, you've definitely manifested each other. And the reason as to why you've connected, you know, you, you're both um, in alignment with each other's vibrational frequency and vibrational alignment. Okay, So you've definitely connected to uh, to one another. However, I think from what I can see, there are some blockages in your person, okay? You've got the Two of Swords. So for some of you, if you haven't, if you haven't entered this phase yet, I see the connection starting very quickly and then I see it slowing down, okay? It is not because of something you will say or something you have said. It's not because of something you have done or something you will do, okay? Um, I understand it's going to be hard for you not to personalize this, but I see you kind of, it's not that you, you come up, like you hit a brick wall, it's not that, um, it's, it's your person being so scared, okay, they're scared because they're catching feelings for you, or have caught feelings for you, they're scared because they haven't felt this type of way before, these emotions are so new, so raw, and in particular so overwhelming, like here they are, they've they they feel like they've met their soulmate. They feel like they've met the person they were always um, longing and seeking for. They feel like you have so much of what it is that they want in a partner. So much positive traits and admirable qualities and characteristics. And you're so self-sufficient, Nine of Pentacles. You're so independent. You, you, you know, you've just, you're so self-assured and this is something that I they find very attractive about you but also a little bit intimidating about you as well uh, six of cups is this you know you they feel as though you're their soulmate even if they don't believe in soulmates this is how they feel okay they feel like this is a type of a connection that rarely happens um, they feel like your energies play very well together like you guys just understand each other like you'll laugh at the same thing um, you guys have the same sense of humor you, you speak the same language, you guys just get each other, right? Um, they also feel as though they love this playful, youthful side to your nature. Um, they love that you're, you're someone who can be very serious, but at the same time a little bit silly and quirky. That works well with them because I do feel like there's a dual presence. Gemini Pisces are coming up very strongly as signs here. Um, but at the same time, you know, your person is a little bit afraid from what I can see because as similar as you are you're also very different in some senses you may have had very different upbringings you may have had very different uh, experiences when it comes to relationships and this person is a little bit scared you may also when this started maybe the both of you never really set the your intentions for the connection so your person is a little bit of unsure where this is going or you know, if you want what they want, that sort of thing. Um, I'm also seeing that if your person hasn't necessarily made a move, it's like they've been immobilized. It's like they've been a little bit paralyzed by this sense of fear, by the sense of anxiety. It's like they don't want to stuff up what you guys have right now because what you have is a good thing. But also making any moves right now, like in making any moves towards you or making any moves in advancing this connection, um, they don't want to put a foot wrong. They don't want to, they're scared that you might um, not reciprocate. They're scared that you might re uh, reject their advances. They're also scared of being um, 
you know, um, emotionally hurt and um, uh, rejected. Um, I don't think it's a pain that uh, they've ever properly dealt with in the past because I do feel like your person has, you know, there's a two of swords energy and there's this swords are a weapon, they are destructive and I do feel like your person has been hurt in the past and they've never processed that hurt, they've never processed the pain and therefore they don't want to go back and revisit similar type of situations. So them taking slow is their way of trying to avoid it, okay? And I do feel like for some of you, some things have come to a standstill or if you're not here yet, I do see that a connection and even though as good it is as it is and as on cloud nine as the both of you might feel, you're going to hit a certain stagnation, a certain standstill, you're going to plateau, the connection is going to plateau, again, not because of something you did or said, okay, I get it, you're personally involved, so, you know, you're personally going to uh, personalize this, but it's not you, it's them, and you need to believe that, because there's this blockages in their energy, and they're scared, they may be scared of emotional um, intimacy, they may be, they may have um, cyclical behavior um, which is manifesting itself as unhealthy or very childlike behavior or paradigms right so for instance they may not have had a very because children are coming up very strongly here they may not have had a very healthy emotional environment or upbringing maybe they've experienced and suffered a lot of abandonment okay uh, maybe their parents weren't together for very long and they um felt a lot of abandonment and rejection as a kid or as a young adult a young adolescent here so that's something that they've never truly dealt with okay and they don't want to go back and you know re revisit that experience because it was a very negative and an unpleasant one for them so them stepping away okay so they want to get close, if this makes sense. They want to get close to you, but they're scared. They want to love you, but they're scared to do that, okay? So this is why they come across as really hot sometimes, and then they pull away, because they want this, but they're scared of it. Them scared, them being afraid is them pulling the energy away, okay? Um, but eventually, this is something that they have to conquer, okay? This is something that they have to confront, because it's something that resides in their energy, allow unless they're going to continue to allow their fears and anxieties to dictate their actions and um you know hinder any romantic relationships or any friendships as well because they can't essentially there's a fear of some sort if it's a fear of anxiety um a fear of rejection abandonment a fear of being hurt a fear of things not working out so what they do is before someone has is given the opportunity to pull away before they give anyone the opportunity to get up and leave to abandon them to ghost them they are the ones who pull away first okay so this is essentially this is their defense mechanism their coping mechanism okay before they can um you know before they put themselves in a position where they're allowed to get hurt they walk away first so they indulge in self-sabotaging and jeopardizing behavior and that even though then i don't know that they're fully aware that it's not healthy um, or I don't know if they're just so unaware. Um, but to me, it just feels like this is someone who is scared. They want this, but they're so scared. And this is why they're purposely stalling or delaying something here. This is why, again, the other thing I think that's important for you to notice is the moon is this really strong energy of subconscious, right? And I don't think people typically are, especially when it comes to men, they, men aren't intentionally hot and cold, okay? Men do not, this isn't intentional. This is something that is driven and that is embedded deep into their subconscious. So this is a behavior that is essentially, um, whether emotional, whether, you know, behavior here, this is something that's fueled by their subconscious. So there is some sort of pain that they've de buried deep into their subconscious and it still resides in that energy. But they need to, they need to dig deep here and they need to, confront that pain confront that emotional wound or that trauma okay because otherwise if they continue to bury it it's going to come back and haunt them they can only bury it for so long and every time they're in relationships this manifests itself because we, we have you know cycles i spoke about you know the sun appearing here a lot and i think the you know the very symbolism of both the sun and the moon here is illuminance and i think the reason why the two of you have connected, this is a very special connection because 
the both of you are going to illuminate to each other some of your own flaws, some of your own insecurities, the shadow aspects of yourselves and the shadow aspects of this connection so that you can, you know, illuminate this to each other and work on this. Okay, so really, this is a chance to help each other grow. In part two of the reading, we're going to explore and see whether this connection is truly going to go anywhere. Because there are feelings, but then I feel like they're not allowing themselves. It's only up until a certain point that they're allowing themselves to feel those emotions. And then after that, they've decided to put these two of swords up, right? Um, the two of swords could also be no contact, no communication right now between the two of you. Um, so them not communicating, them not responding, or them purposely um purposely uh, blocking the energies here, purposely preventing this relationship from flowing and from um, progressing. So in part two of the reading, we're going to explore whether they will communicate, that's for some of you, um, and whether this connection is truly going to go anywhere. Because if it were to go anywhere, they need to work on themselves here, okay? Otherwise, it, it, the, these fears in the energy are going to stunt the growth of this connection and it has for some of you already so follow me via the extension link to part two of the reading um and i just want to thank you guys so much as always for your time your energy and your attention and your support to the channel it is greatly appreciated if you haven't already please show your support by liking sharing or subscribing bye for now